We've got the diamonds and digits today. We're playing math. Math nine. We're talking about exponent laws all over again. Part two. Powers of a power. If we have two to the seventh, and we say that is q. See what I mean? How does that work? What does it mean to cube sum? It means to write it out three times. So I'm just going to do that. Yep. Isn't this what this means? Right? That's the cube sum. Yeah. We know how to multiply basic. You add the exponents, right? It's three groups of seven. So we can say seven plus seven plus seven. Or we can say three times seven, right? It's only one. You guys follow this logic. I did a lot of talking really fast. So I'm going to repeat that now. The bases are all the same. That means I know it's going to come out to be two. The exponents, we can think of it as seven plus seven, 14 plus another seven, something like that. But you know, if I had that written out five times, I might have wanted, you know, or 17 times. I don't know what I had, 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. The, what do you want to do with the repetitive addition? What's the operation called? Okay. Times you need, multiply. Right? We're really going 3 times 7 when we add up 7 to the top. I'm going to write down that 21. But, whole goal is, this middle part just explains why the rule works this way. But then let's look back without doing that middle stuff ever again. How can I look at this and come up with this answer? When there's a power of a power, multiply the exponent. How does this work? Going back, can we do the example below? You can do this. I'm asking you. Give me a moment, please. I got the guys on the screen. Help me learn how to do this. What do I write down? Somebody in the back corner of the four of you is where it's keep the table and chairs, please. Yep. Just blurt it out. One of you. Go get it, because you didn't do it fast enough. Go get it. Okay, I think it's the answer. Why do I want this spot? You need to help me out with this one. Yeah, this one. Uh, we did minus or minus three to the three. In brackets? Oh, in brackets. Scooch this up. Hey, you just multiply the two and the seven to get the minus two in brackets. Get the basic thing, right? Awesome. I update the tenths in a second here. But much the same as this. Up and down and we'll work them over together. Or how the hell did that work? Well, let's see. Let's see. The power of the product. There's two ways you can do this. You can say it's called squared. But, right off the bat, and I think I heard you say that now, oh, son of a biscuit, I was frozen on that, son of a biscuit, I said, that's okay, it's cool, right? Okay, so you could do it this way, 2 times 4 is 12 squared, that happens to be 144, okay, or, if you want, and now I'm showing you something with numbers, but eventually you're going to have to add this. <coughs> you have letters like A to the D or X to the Y. So this is why I'm showing you this way. This really means 3 times 4, 3 times 4 in the brackets, right? That's the square. Just follow me with me, okay? Now, you jotted that down. Still is 12 times 12, but I want to 
want to show you something so that later on when you have x's and y's, numbers you can't really multiply, they're variables. Now the system to make this work. This really means, and another way of thinking of it is, what you said is correct, but you could also be thought of 3 times 3, which is a square, and 4 times 3, which is a square. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 squared times 4 squared. And I'm saying that this is a skill that you can do like you did about 100 times. But I want you to have this skill because eventually you're going to be doing algebra without the numbers. Every time. Now A to B is X and Y is X and Z. Any number of things that represent it. And that's easier people don't like it. So, when you have a power of a product, that's this, a product, it distributes to each part of the base. What we're saying is, is that 3 squared, 4 squared. So when I see this, I might say, Give as an exponent expression, do not evaluate. And that means I will be looking for something like this. An exponent expression, do not evaluate. So when I see this, what am I going to do? You're just going to rewrite it as. What is it? Probably the answer. We can both write it down if you haven't already. Maybe like two times nineteen. No, I mean two times one. Okay, I want it as an exponent expression, not as a number. I want an, an answer like this, not an answer like this. What I'm saying is two times nineteen all to the power of five. I kind of said, distribute to each item inside. Distribute to each part of the base. So, I think, Rami, once you see somebody do this, you'll be like, yeah, okay. Kind of. Then, if I have down, right? What are we doing? As an exponent expression. Here we go. Well, of a product. Product is about distribute and exponent to each part of the base. What can I do here? I've got this exponent. I'm going to put it on the 5. I've got this exponent here and I'm going to put it on the 19. And I can do things from here. That is what you could have. You guys see what I just did though? Rip the five through everything that's being multiplied. Okay? Oh, I see. So like this would be this would be two to the exponent of five. This is how I'm trying to show you those yeah, arrows. I get it, I get it. Yeah, it's one way to put it. You still find the two numbers together. You could, but I'm asking you to give me an exponent expression and you find one. You're right. That's too correct. 38, 2 times 9. Yeah. 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 No need to put that. Do you see the similarities with this question and this question? I'm going to jump from this to that. As an exponent expression. I'm going to write something down here, not going to take any notes, but I wanted to show you where you're going. If I have. 2x, y, and t. Later on, like you're not doing this, so don't worry if it's confused. But this is y. These are, you can't go 2 times x times y and come up with a number like 35. So eventually you're going to say, well, that's 2 cubed. This is x cubed. This is y cubed. And there'll be more operations after this. This is why you're doing this still, so that you have 
staff later on when you develop it, because that is the purpose. Because honestly, to evaluate it, you're probably better off like 38 to the power of 5 points. Like, Gretchen, maybe I have an answer. What is it? Why did you put a Y? Okay, don't worry about the L stuff. I said do where we're going. Because you're going to get to that part someday. You're going to put some letters in your house? We're going to mix letters with your numbers. That's true. Okay. Quotient. This, as a fraction, is really a division quotient. And you know what? Very much the same. I'm going to just do this. Because three with the square on it, seven with the square on it. We'll leave it as an exponent expression. When you do these, just like the other day, it shouldn't take you forever, should you? Going to uh, give you an answer, Joe. Okay. No brackets. No brackets now that I've applied the square to both items. 